my Quran recitation, Chicho, as as I'm Muslim. ND, you are you're you're the man. You're the man with great no, uh, knowledge. It would really expand your whole view of Islam if you look into Sheikh Imran Hussein. He is a massive scholar who interprets the Quran correctly. Okay, um, uh, thank you for the suggestion, um, uh, my Quran. Uh, but I'm not really interested in going down the religious rabbit hole. Uh, I consider. I regard, uh, for me, the best reflection of what a religion represents is the people that uh, represent that religion, right? The people I've met, not what media shows me, right? I've met some of my good friends were Zionists, right? I've met Zionists, I've had dinner with Zionists, I've drank with Zionists, I've partied with Zionists. Of met Christians, drank with Christians, ate with Christians, party with Christians. I've met Muslims, drank with Muslims, ate with Muslims, party with Muslims. I've met Zionists, have been friends with my Zionists, drank with Zionists, ate with Zionists, party with Zionists. I've known Baha'is, I've drank with Baha'is, had dinner with Baha'is, party with Baha'is. With Christians, I've had the same interaction with different sects of Christianity as well as different sects of Islam right I've I've and others uh, Hindus uh, Buddhists and all this jazz right uh, out of that whole group the ones that are absolutely completely brainwashed insane and delusional as to what makes the world go around and what humanity should be and is are Zionists they're on a category on their own they're blow you away they're fine and dandy really they're fine and dandy with you like really fine and dandy unless they're triggered there's a trigger there and if you've known Zionists you know this trigger they, something happens and then all of a sudden they turn and there's insanity in their eyes and they, they it, it, it's crazy to, to witness okay uh, Muslims the ones that I've met are some of the most peaceful people I've ever met in my life right uh, and I'm not talking about Wahhabis and stuff like this I'm talking about Shia Sunni uh, Sufi right uh, so I'm not talking about cults here I'm talking about and, and Jewish I've, I've known many Jewish people I've had dinner with Jewish uh, true Jews right uh, that believe in Judaism and stuff like this some of the most peaceful people I've met unless they're Zionists then that trigger comes along and you, the veil is lifted right so I'm not interested in going down the religious rabbit hole uh, I'm not I'm not interested in going down the puppets political puppets that they put in power and stuff like this I'm more interested in human history in physics in mathematics in biology in entheogens in what is beyond the material uh, what is beyond the facade of this current economic system that exists right what was humanity like 200,000 years ago 100,000 years ago 500,000 years ago million years ago what about what about previous civilizations why have most religious uh, centralized religious institutions burn books burn philosophies burn texts scientific and philosophy right and religious right why 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 not you will be rewarded when you die right because I don't I don't I don't believe this matter is the final end-all and be-all of what we are and I do not believe that we occupying a four-dimensional world if you want 11 dimensions based on M theory that this material world we have the ability to understand and absolutely state what end of life is right where we go after this I, I don't believe it right because I've seen enough and realized there's good people in all religions there's bad people in all religions right and there is no absolute truth based on 
a certain text that someone has written saying that this is the word of God from 2,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, when the history of humanity, the history of civilizations is hundreds of thousands of years old, right? I'm just trying to stay up with chat gang. Agent provocateurs, I see. Uh, I'm at the bottom of both chats, gang. Uh, Yugali, but it's important to know if a Jewish individual believes in the Talmud. Uh, he wouldn't tell you, probably. Maybe. Chase, I agree. All Muslims have met are some of the most down to earth and kind people of I have met. Even though I don't practice any religion, I have respect uh, for how much they dedicate themselves to it. Yeah, discipline, right? Which is lacking in the Western world. It's insane. King Bai, I guess, I guess thing I feel different uh, here than you catch. Yeah, but remember, gang, remember this mass migration coming in and those that identify uh, as Muslims and stuff like this, they don't represent the Islam, right? They might be from a certain sect. If they're Wahhabis, and if they're ISIS, then they're ISIS. They're, it's like Zionists coming out and saying all Jews are Zionists, which is complete effing bullshit, right? So don't take any these fanatic uh, extremists when they say, oh, all, all Muslims are this. No, they're not, right? When Zionists come out and say all Jews are this, no, they're not. Zionism, Zionism represents as Judaism uh, on the same level as uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Mormons represent Christianity, but Mormons are actually peaceful. Just, just take Mormons. Think, just consider Mormons if they were as vile as Zionists, right? Where they were torturing people. Who, of murdering people using human shields genociding people put all those on mormons and then mormons would come on and say all christians are mormons would you believe them just because they said it right or wahhabis same thing come on and saying all islam islam is wahhabism no man just because they say it doesn't mean that's what it is right it's just the way it is. Brad, I look at people how they live and treat others. I never judge based on color, creed, or faith based. Me too. 100%. Here's to intelligence.